Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will create a progress indicator in React Native using animated API and reactive type of animation. We will use on layout to get the width of the progress and we will animate based on the step that you provide as a prop. So without further ado, let's play the intro. Jump straight into VS Code and start building this progress indicator. Shall we? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've already created a project using Expo and the link to the starting point, uh, exactly this code here, it's available down in the description so you can grab it, take it in your VS Code and start building your application so we'll have the same ground uh, or the starting code. All right, so let's remove the text here. And what I would like to do is to create a progress a component that's going to receive a step, steps and the height. And inside it, we will have two different views. One big view that's going to be the gray background. And inside it, we'll have uh, the indicator, right? And this indicator is going to have a full width but we will transition from minus uh, the container width to zero so we will create um, this transition using the native driver so we can only use the transform property or opacity uh, so we will use on layout to get the width of the container and apply a different reactive type of animation to the progress so let's create the progress now so progress We'll create a step one, let's say steps 10 and height is going to be 20. All right. And this component is going to be defined here. So step, steps, height. And here we'll return a view containing another view. Nothing fancy. All right. So let's start by importing this one. So styling, uh, so we'll have a height of height, uh, background color of RGBA 0000.1, okay, uh, border radius of height, and we'll overflow hidden. And apply the same to the inner view, so style, We'll have a height of height, uh, overflow, um, a border radius of height. We would like to give it a darker background color, so RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 point maybe 4, 5. All right, and a width of 100%. And we'll position this absolute at left zero and top zero and the reason why this is not visible is because we need to get rid of the align items here but instead just give it a breathing room padding 20. all right so this is our beautiful uh, progress bar right and before anything else let's apply actually let's wrap this into a dummy view and apply here a text saying step and steps so steps and step all right all right like this and style this just a little so we'll have a font family of menlo of monospace and low actually uh, font size of 12 font weight 900 and margin bottom 4 cool so we have this beautiful uh, carousel here uh, like a progress plus uh, an indicator label we can make this uh, more space here and 
Let's start by first uh, creating the uh, reactive type of animation. So we'll have an animated value react use ref new animated value starting from minus one one thousand in the current. Apply the same for reactive. The reason why I'm passing one thousand here is because initially I would like to uh, move it outside of the screen before getting the width of the container. And I'm using React use ref because I like to have React keeping track of my animations. So whenever this progress will be re-rendered, the animated value will be the same during the component lifecycle, which is really nice. And also create here the width and set width, which is a React use state from zero. Great. Animated is not defined. Let's import animated. It save. All right. And for this container, I would like to get the width from uh, on layout event. So on layout, I'll, I'll get the event, and here inside I'll get the width, new width. It's event native event layout and width, and I will set the width with a new if. All right, and now that we have the width, we can define the reactive type of animation. So initially, when this component is going to be mounted, we will like to start the animation. So animated timing. We will animate the animated value based on the reactive value. So we will pass here the animated value. We will go to, anim to value reactive with a duration maybe 300 and we'll use the native driver for it and also start the animation cool and run this only once only when this component is mounted and another part here we would like to set the reactive animation when either the step or width has changed and so we will define a use effect and pass the step and width as dependency so this will run whenever those will change and here the reactive will set the value initially um, how is going to be calculated when the step is going to be zero we would like to have minus width and when the step is going to be 10 or the max we will like to transition it zero, mainly because the container here has a width of 100%. So initially it's going to be off the screen. So at minus width, right? And the math formula here is minus width plus width multiplied with the step divided by steps. So basically I'm taking, uh, I'm making a percentage here, right? Based on the current step and steps. So if the step is going to be zero, we'll transition minus width, right? Because this one is going to be zero. If the step is equal to steps, this, um, uh, this part is going to be one, right? So five divided by five, let's say, uh, one multiplied with the width, and then we will have minus width plus width, which is zero. So we will go directly here. And let's copy this formula apply it here nothing is visible the reason is because we are not actually adding this animated value to the uh, to the inner view here so let's do this let's convert this into an animated view and here we'll translate transform and we'll translate x with the animated value right and hit save and now we have one out of ten so if i'm going to the app here and change to five let's say it's going to animate watch this boom if i go to three if i going to seven and so on and so forth so everything is working out of the box just passing a different step now let's create a stepper from one to ten so we'll create here an index, a set index, 
react you state starting from zero and when this component is going to be mounted so effect will have dependency the index and here we will have uh, uh, interval let's say where it's it's a set interval and here we would like to set the index with index plus one modulo steps length plus one basically i'm going from zero to ten zero to ten zero to ten so on and so forth right now i'm doing this every one second and when this component is going to be mounted unmounted sorry i'm going to clear the interval with the interval hit save and instead of seven pass index hit save just to start from zero and now it's going to increase increment 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 so if i'm changing this to be 500 it's even faster right so that was it guys thank you so much for staying with me here i hope that you've learned something new uh, some tips and tricks here and there that you can apply in your existing project or some new project of yours also if you have any issues don't hesitate to leave a comment down below i'll do my best to answer all of them and help you as much as i can also don't forget to subscribe smash the like button or double smash the dislike button other than that see you in the next video bye bye guys Thank <laughs> you.